Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So an Australian left-leaning writer who writes for The Age and the Sydney Morning Herald, he has said some pretty hypocritical and interesting things about COVID responding to someone who was taking a more libertarian approach to what he posted. So we're going to take a look at what he said, react to that, and then take a look at a bit of his history and background of what he's written for The Age. So don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, share this one out, and let's take a look. So there we go, Peter Wells, writes for The Age, Sydney Morning Herald, on technology and podcasts. So he's a tech writer. Yep, check out whatever podcast, blah, blah, blah. Five and a half K, all right. Check mark. I know I sound angry and I am, but to quote my favorite late show host, stay safe, wear a mask, get vaccinated, we love you. Real woke network, lol. Liberal Democrats, Australia, so trans vaxxed and proud, the trans flag. Everything woke turns to sh Donald Trump. Okay, that's funny. So they just said, shut up with a laughing emoji. Okay, he said no. And then they go, I know I sound triggered and I am, but to quote someone that makes sense, stay safe, wear a mask if you want to, get vaccinated if you want to, we love you no matter what you do. Fixed it for you, champ. Okay, let's see what he says. That doesn't work with an airborne, highly infectious virus. You need to think of others, not just yourself. Real Woke Network says, yes, it does. The people who are scared, you, wear a mask and get vaccinated. The people that aren't go about their lives as normal. What are you going to do? Sit me down and force a vaccine into me? I dare you to try. So that's a more libertarian approach. Don't force people to take it, but give people the freedom of choice, which is what they said. Now, what does Peter Wells have to say about this? About a libertarian option, giving people the choice of whether they want to take a vaccine or not. What could he possibly say after saying, we love you, get vaccinated. Wow, Peter, you're insane. You're an insane leftist, lunatic, authoritarian, and you hate people and want them to die from COVID. Okay, that's the tolerant left, and that's an Australian man too. Says, dude, I hope you get COVID and die. Mate, you, this is insane. And look, the quote tweets are racking up now, not over 900. Calvin Robinson, he's cool. Original tweet, stay safe, wear a mask, get vaccinated, we love you. Three tweets later, I hope you get COVID and die. That escalated quickly. Could it be that your original tweet was virtue signaling? You don't love people, you just want them to do as you demand. Fear. 100% he's an authoritarian, social justice warrior, f***ing woke leftist. Now, that, that's the tweet right there. Dude, uh, he hasn't deleted it yet from what I've seen. I wonder what The Age and Sydney Morning Herald have to say about this tweet. Because he works for them, and th this is uh, some of his stuff on The Age. Wells writes about technology podcasts. Okay, so when was his last post? June 22, so he hasn't done much since June. But let's take a look at what he has written about. So he's written about a podcast following the Aussie far right. So he's talking about fascist far right movements in Australia on Melbourne Community Radio. Ever lied about seeing Star Wars, you're not alone. So this was a article about how two women are doing a podcast talking about dude cinema and that includes Star Wars, Lord of the Rings and how they've never actually watched it. So he's wrote about how dude cinema is a movie a dude has a heavy emotional connection to, is personally offended when you haven't seen it. And that's Star Wars and feels no shame in making you feel bad about that. Well, wow, this is a whole nother topic for a video. But this one, this takes the cake. The one thing dudes never seem to get is all these movies were written by a man, directed by a man, starring a man for a male audience. Even though I know a bunch of women who love Star Wars and Lord of the Rings, but whatever, that doesn't matter, does it, to these idiots. And my favorite piece he wrote a year ago when the bushfire crisis was happening here in Australia. So he wants to talk about fake news and why social giants need to do better or get out of the way. So he's talking about authoritarianism right there. He's saying these big tech giants need to stamp out anything he thinks is fake news. As we enter the fourth month of unprecedented bushfires, it has been disheartening to see misinformation spread on social media, particularly when it comes to the cause of bushfires. So he was talking about how Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter will have a bunch of uh, comments and replies arguing that arsonists, not climate change, are to blame. The facts say otherwise, as reported by ABC, concluded less than 1% of the bushfires have torn through Australia. Less than 1% of them were actually from arsonists but they actually were arsonists. And he says the majority were caused by dry lightning storms, yet still the misinformation spreads. Okay, what about your misinformation, lightning storms and other natural weight causes of bushfires happen? But how many bushfires have we seen have ravaged the East Coast this year now that the Greens, the left, left, left party in Australia got out of the way and the fire services have been able to backburn because the Greens got up in a, a stink about, oh, you can't backburn, you're destroying the land. Okay, what happened? We had some of the worst fires we've ever seen in this country. But now the Greens are out of the way, full on leftists are out of the way, like this idiot. We had normal seasonal bushfires and a lot of them were just backburning as well. So we didn't see any ravaged 
parts of our country when the leftists got out of the way. So you want to talk about misinformation? This dude is a full-on authoritarian leftist and we've seen it in his writing now and we've seen it right here in his hypocrisy and virtue signaling saying, stay safe, wear a mask, get vaccinated, we love you. And then a few tweets later, dude, I hope you get COVID and die. What a terrible, woke, leftist, lunatic, authoritarian piece of garbage. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Be sure to smash the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Share this one out and I'll see you in the next one.